you're obviously over here preparing for the new season with, with the ICC tournament. With the squad as you have now, would you be confident of challenging for the title next year as it stands now with no more new players? I don't answer to your question. May I, may I ask why? Can we keep the questions on the tournament, please? That's what we're here for. Are you getting everything you wanted out of this trip so far? No. I got uh, the facilities, as always. I got the incredible commitment of the people that uh, is involved in in the process of preparing a good a good preseason. I'm happy with the matches, the evolution of the matches. But I don't have the players uh, to work. I don't have the majority of the players that are going to be in the squad on the 9th of, uh, of August when the market closes and we can make the, um, the squad official for the season. So, of course, I'm not happy. Of course, I'm not happy to have um, just a few players. You mentioned that, that Fred will be here soon and, and David as well after the World Cup. Will Marcus Rojo be here as well? That he was knocked out in the same round as, as Spain with Argentina. I don't know. Uh, he's, uh, he's with the medical department uh, in contact since the, since the World Cup where uh, <coughs> he handled the World Cup with some, with some physical problem. And uh, the medical department has to make a decision if he joins us here or if he goes to to Manchester for uh, recovering and waiting for the team to be back. Jose, Fred is the uh, the big signing you've made so far this summer. Can you tell us a bit about him? Obviously, we didn't get to see him at the World Cup. What, what me neither, me neither. No. What is it about <laughs> his qualities that make him, I suppose... Michael Carrick's successor. Yeah, there is no Michael Carrick's successor. Michael Carrick is Michael Carrick, and there is no successor. Um, Fred is a technical player, and uh, having in the in the squad people like Matic, Fellaini, Pogba, even under. Physical people strong. We think that um, a player like Fred, Andres Pereira, um, more technical, more quality of uh, of passing, playing in short uh, spacings, maybe connect with um, the attacking players. We thought that he could could be an important player for us. But um, let's wait. You've talked twice about Paul Pogba on tour, Joe, saying, and, and both times it, it seems from what you're saying that he, you feel that for his club he's still short of the form he had at the World Cup. What does he need to do for you and for the team to, to make you happy, basically? I told already. Hi, Josie. Just going back to the players who are missing from this <coughs> tour because of the World Cup and how that's not great preparation. Does it give you any optimism, the fact that you know, many of your rivals are in the same situation? They have players who are also on a holiday, having a break, so they also can't prepare. So in that sense, it's kind of an even playing field, right? If you look to the players that Chelsea and Liverpool, they have in the, in the pre-season, especially these two teams, also Arsenal, I think you, if you compare, you see the difference of, uh, of the situation. Uh, Man City and Tottenham in a similar situation as, uh, as we are. But you can see that some other clubs, they are in a different situation. 
Okay, last question. With, with those problems of, of players you mentioned, is there a concern that you could be handicapped at the start of the season and that it could cost you in terms of points, in terms of progress at the start of the season, not having all these players here and the preparation? You know, the first match of the season is against Leicester and the second one is against Brighton. When I look to to Leicester, if I'm not wrong, only Maguire and uh, and Vardy. They were in the they were in the World Cup in the in the final phase because Schmeichel was, but uh, back sooner. So I think a team that is working for six weeks minimum with uh, all the players except one central defender and one striker that can join in the last uh, in the last week and probably be, be available. I think that is uh, is clear a much better situation for them. When I look to Brighton on the second on the second game, I don't think they have any player that is not doing a very good preseason with lots of matches and trainings all together. So of course against Leicester and against Leicester and um, and Brighton, the situation is not amazing for us. I would say third match after the third week and playing against a team that is in a similar situation as us, I think then after three weeks is is okay. It's almost like you did a, a preseason with the, with them. But for the first uh, two matches, we have to fight for the points because we need the points. So that's what we are going to do with the players that we have available. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you.